Hello, folks. My name is Detroit Miracle, and I'm coming back to you from on my spot at home. I have another good one for all of you. I'll call this topic, Is the Human Body Really a Prison? Yeah, folks. And this is not a mere conspiracy theory, but it is complete and total truth. Think about it. Just say, as infants, we, and I mean myself, do not have a choice as to who to be born as, who, which, or what. So it's like playing the lottery. You know, you play a number, and you might win something, you might win more, or you might win a lot. So we know if you're born as a human being, then that's like hitting a mega jackpot, so to speak. But there are varying degrees of humanity. Like there is, when you look at people, you look at social classes, you look at looks, you look at intelligence, you look at talent. Meaning, if Michael Jackson knew that he would be Michael Jackson at the instant that he was born and the whole family knew, then don't you think they would be celebrating in the hospital, opening up expensive champagne? <laughs> now, on the other hand, what if you got a Joe Blow type of dude that was born and, uh, and everybody knew he would become a dope fiend, a drug addict, a convict, a criminal type of uh, guy? who is a total creeding of society. Don't you think the family would be crying in there? Even when he's a little baby, they'd be like, oh no, we know how his life is going to turn out. Wow, we miss fight. And the mom would be like, oh no, take him back. Go back in there. Change him up, God, please. I don't want to keep this. So you understand where I'm coming from? But some kind of life is better than no kind of life. But at the same time, some life isn't worth living. Now, getting back to this subject and topic concerning our people that are born. Are they really born into a prison of the body? Well, we have to consider some factors some people are born ugly, like me, <laughs> and I'm stuck with this. I can't just change my body around and say, hey, I want a better looking body and face. And many of us feel like that. I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm ugly, but at least I'm not the ugliest. And then at the, at the same time, I was born with a obesity type of complex where if I eat even a couple of sandwiches I put on weight <laughs> yeah it's crazy so essentially you might be born ugly and you might be born fat so and you're stuck with that look you're stuck with that body it's hard to get handsome if you're born ugly I know that it's hard to get pretty if you're born ugly. And if you're born with a body that can put on a lot of weight, then you're you're doubly cursed that way. Yeah, like, hey, I got to do a lot of workouts to lose this weight. And even if I eat something tiny, I'll put back on some weight. And I notice there are other people that are blessed. It's some people that are born with the physique of Tupac Shakur. They don't have to work out, not a day in their life. They can eat all the food they want, and they'll still have that muscle chisel physique. I grew up with a guy that was like that. All I ever see, all I ever seen him do was eat. He would eat ice cream. He would eat cereal. He would eat sandwiches. And then he would never, ever put on weight. He would always have that muscular physique. So this guy was uh, blessed. He was incredibly blessed. And me, I was the exact opposite. I went through muscular stages in my life, but I had to work out hard to get those. I had to lift weights. 
I had to run marathons. I had to starve myself. Yeah, <laughs> I'm serious. So I'm giving indications that a body can be perceived as a prison. Yes, indeed, it can be. We know there are mobility to having a form where you can walk around and do things and travel. So people would say, Detroit Miracle, you got it wrong, man. The human body isn't a prison. I'm Look, I'm not saying that you can't walk around. I'm not saying you can't run around. I'm not saying you can't travel. But you have to look at the situation entirely. If you want to go 2,000 miles away and you're traveling, look how long it takes you to get there. It's not like you could travel by speed of thought. You know, it's not like you could just close your eyes and teleport there and you're there instantly. It's going to take some time if you want to go anywhere, especially if you especially if you're traveling real far away, like thousands of miles away. And then if that being the case, you're going to have to have the money for the plane fare, train fare or bus fare. So that would make you feel trapped under under those set of circumstances yes indeed it would another thing is like the more you age the more you start to have problems with your body things get wrong with your you become fragile and frail in ways the older you get if you look at any elderly person they certainly must feel like their body is a prison at that particular stage in their developments and then they if you get a certain age like 60 or 70 you're going to be able to compare yourself to when you were 20 years old and then you're going to reflect on it and say wow when I was in my 20s or even 30s I was active I was athletic I was out running around I could go to and from with ease of mobility now at this time that isn't the case <laughs> yeah or but now i'm struggling to walk even from the kitchen to the living room i can't walk to the store anymore like i used to it's an all-around struggle at this point you know in my life so i do feel like my body is a prison older people must think that way and god forbid that somebody is also born with a disability mentally or physically and there's so many types of disabilities it's too many to count that is the most unfortunate thing so those type of persons certainly would feel like they're born inside of a prison or their body is in fact a prison containment yeah it's crazy yeah just say you're born without the use of your legs and you have to uh, travel in a wheelchair everywhere, but you're seeing other people walk around and laugh and joke, have fun. And then you, you think to yourself, wow, how come that couldn't be me? How come that couldn't have been my life? You know, why am I um, restricted to this wheelchair? You know, why can't I walk while other people can? So, so you would feel as though you are trapped in a bodily prison containment it's crazy those are those are clearly examples of it of the prison of the body so i'm indicating that even though you are free and you feel like you are free you're still in a prison so to speak yeah people you have to think, you have to center and focus your mind on those very factors in order to break free from those type of confinements. There are different types of prisons and the body would be the main major prison. If you're not born in a perfect body, quote unquote, with, you know, with the perfect athletic physique, the perfect look, the perfect intelligence then you might feel like you're in a prison, like you're trapped there. Why do you think 
a lot of women wear makeup. Why do you think? Why do you think women wear wigs? Because they're not comfortable being their, themselves. They so they want to look better than themselves. They want to, and the, that that is the case with guys getting haircuts and trimming their beards up. You know, getting good clothes. You know, getting jewelry. People are not completely happy with themselves, so they want to make themselves look better and appear better because they are not perfect. They don't think they look perfect because they believe they are in a prison. They don't indicate, they don't think that way in terms of, yeah, I'm really in a prison, I'm confined, but they know they are because they aren't completely happy with themselves. Yeah, folks. That is the truth. Well, folks, I'd appreciate it if you would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to my channel, Detroit Miracle.